Hello everyone and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to interlink your website. So uh, what do I mean by that and why do we need to do it? Okay well interlinking basically is where we um, uh, create links for easier navigation um, also just to tie everything together alright so for example if there's a page mentioned on another page what we're going to do is we're going to create a hyperlink um, with that word being the anchor text and then interlink it so that it becomes clickable and the website visitor when they click it they'll go to that page that is named okay so every time something is referred to we link it to that page so that everything is tied together okay so the reason we're doing this is like twofold number one it's um it's a better website visitor experience because um, everything's tied together. They can navigate around the website nice and easy. Uh, they're probably going to visit more pages because it's, things are easy to find. But second of all, um, the other reason is because it's good for SEO. Um, and so seeing as this is a channel all about SEO, then, you know, that's another good reasons bear with me so I did a video not so long ago about basic on-page SEO where we discussed how to write a piece of content to be SEO friendly and we talked about um, various things on that subject but we didn't cover um, internal links in fact Yoast SEO grades you on having internal links as well okay and I deliberately didn't because I wanted to do a video specifically about that which is what this is because what we're going to do is we're going to do it nice and easy right because manually interlinking and looking for interlinking opportunities page by page throughout your website it's um it's time consuming yeah so we're going to take a shortcut but a wise shortcut yeah um a smart one and uh, do it much easier okay so here's what we do so first of all right and i'm in my alien blog um, because I haven't done it on that yet, so I'm going to talk you through it. Okay, and you go to your uh, dashboard of your website and you add a plugin. Okay, so we're going to add new and you're going to search for auto affiliate links. Okay, now there are many. Plugins. There are many. Yeah, I'll spell that wrong. Just, there are many plugins for interlinking. All right, um, and I've tried a few, and I like this one. Okay, so here it is, right here. Um, I'm going to install that. Yeah, some of the other ones I find a bit too long-winded. Uh, this one is. Just straightforward and nice and easy. So once you've installed it, activate it. And once it's installed and activated, then we need to do some things in the settings. So let's find it down here. Um, where is the thing? Oh, yeah, that must be the menu here. Um, No, it's not permanent. Okay. So here it is, it's um it's got a thing all of its own in the menu on your left. Okay, so auto affiliate links and uh just click on that. I'm not sure which one. So we'll just click on it. Okay, because okay, let me tell you what I'm trying to achieve here in the settings. What we want to do is we don't want Every time there's an occurrence of a word on a page, we don't want to interlink it um, because you could end up like with 10 words that are the same that interlink to another page on one page. And that's going to look stupid and it's going to be spam and it's going to be not very good. So we need to limit it. If there's a word that we're asking it to interlink, that is only going to do it once the first time. The first time it appears on the page. Alright, so um, 
Let's go to getting started. Because it wasn't that last page we needed. Okay, but forgive me, it's general settings, of course it is, right? Okay, so general settings. So uh, just just to just to recap to save any confusion, auto affiliate links and then in the menu there, general settings. You go there. Alright, here we go. Okay, so link frequency, we'll leave that at average, the default. Uh, same keyword limit. Okay, so let's change that to 1. Or shall we make it 2? We'll make it 2. Okay. Um, you don't have to follow my advice. You can do your own settings. But at least you know you can work with the settings. Uh, same link limit. Um, I'm going to go with one, okay, because like I said, I don't want ten words all linking. Uh, link distribution, you've got top or you've got random. So is it going to be when the keyword appears at the top of the page or do you want to do it random? I'm going to do it random so that it can look more natural and less forced, okay. Um, case sensitive, let's leave that unchecked. Um, because we don't need it to be case sensitive, it's the word that counts. Okay, active post types, post, uh, let's see, page, I want to do product as well. Um, okay, um, add links on home page, post pages, uh, don't want it on my widget text. Um, Maybe on my excerpts, I don't want it in my h tags. Um, yeah, so that's fine. So target new window or same window. I'll go with same window if it's an internal link. Um, link relation. Do follow. Okay. All right, so I'm going to save changes. I think we've done all we need to do here. All right, so now I go to auto affiliate links. All right, so click on that, and this is where we actually do it, and you'll see how easy it is. Now, auto affiliate links, it's named this because the purpose of this is actually to um, hyperlink your affiliate keywords. So if you've got an affiliate program, so you've got a monetized blog or website, and you want to send people drive traffic to your affiliate uh, place where you can earn commission, then you can like hyperlink certain words that will drive people to that product or that thing that you've got an affiliate set up with, right? That's the purpose of it. And I am going to use it for that purpose too, but I'm going to kill two birds with one stone. I'm going to utilize this for my internal linking as well as um, doing outbound links. Yeah, so outbound and internal, that's what I'm doing. So here I've got a uh, category called UFOs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that. I'm in the front end of my website. And I'm going to copy the address. And then I'm going to come back here. Okay, so you want to have two tabs open. You want to have your back end and your front end. So you can flick between the two. So you need to pick up links, right? So I'm going to paste my link into there, okay, and the keywords is going to be UFOs, and that's it. All right, so every time the word UFOs appears, not every time, but on the page, at least one time or two times, if the word UFOs appears, it's going to link people right here. Because I don't have an affiliate program where UFOs are concerned, so I'm just going to link internally. Okay. But you also want to click on advanced options so that we can do a, a link title, and that's important for 
SEO. It's optional, but I say it's important. So we're going to do UFOs. Uh, yeah, we'll just do UFOs. Um, that's better. Right. And then we're going to save that. Okay, so now let's, and that's as simple as that. That is it, right? So let's do the next one. Okay, so now the word aliens. Let's send people to this page for the word aliens and the word history. Okay. And you can link long tail keywords, of course you can. Okay, so I'm going to do aliens and history. And the title, we're going to call it Aliens in History. Aliens in History. Okay, and let's save that now. Okay, you see how quick that is, right? And let me just scroll down, it's appearing down here. So here I've got my affiliate links, and they're, they're all here, right? Okay, so um, now you imagine if I was doing this manually, right? Going through my website, looking for the occurrence of the word, and then manually linking it, okay? It's just, this is just way better, all right? Now, let's do the moon. So I'm going to copy the address, and then I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to paste the address, and then I'm going to do um, the word moon. Okay, I think. Um, sometimes it's hard to know. And then I call the title the moon. Okay, and then save. And that's it. Now we do the next one. Uh, and now we'll do Mars. Okay, so we copy, and obviously you get the idea. So I'm going to pause the video while I finish up, and then we'll take a look at the front end and see how it looks. So I've finished my pages, my blog categories, I've finished that, um, and now I'm even doing my products. It's even important to do that. Okay, now as for the title, right, use your keyword. Okay, so here I've got alien t-shirts, that's my keyword. Okay, so make sure that it is your keyword as your title there. Okay. So I'll save that and I'm gonna keep going. Okay, and so here I've got um, an affiliate product with uh, I think it's ClickBank. So um, it's this product right here. Let me let me go through to my affiliate link. Um yeah, there it is. Right, so if I copy that affiliate link, okay, and then what I'm going to do is this time I'm going to do an outbound link, right? So I'm going to put the link in there, and um, my keyword is going to be Jupiter, and uh, my title. Jup Sat Pro, I think. Yeah, I don't know if that's best, but let's let's do that. Jup Sat Pro, because that's the name of the product. Did that did that work? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay, so now the test. I'm at the front end. I've finished all that I'm doing. Here's my home page. As I scroll down, look, I see an interlinked word. And if I hover over it, it's got my title, Aliens in History. If I click on that, it should take me to uh, my Aliens in History page. So let's test that. And yes, it works. There's the title up there. It's loading a bit slow because I'm doing screen record. Okay, so now let's scroll down this page and see if there's anything interlinked. Okay, let's let's click on the uh, let's click on a, a on a blog post. 
Yeah, and there's the word history in that sort of link. So it all works. So there you go.